Good morning guys on this beautiful Sunday here on Koh Phangan Thailand. It's quiet, it's early, I woke up at 6, I think it's around 7 now, the beach is empty. But first of all man, I wish you all a happy Easter for the ones that celebrate Easter. This year we are not celebrating it um, because on Thailand it's just not celebrated but I will buy some really, um, really tasteful chocolate for the kids uh, so that they can enjoy their chocolate. Like it did. I used to hide those eggs, you know, when we were still living in Holland. And but now the kids are a lot older and they understand it. But <laughs> one short story. One time on Saturday evening, we always had this Easter party in the in the bars, in the local bars. You need to rock around with an egg and drink as much as possible and keep your egg safe and don't break your egg. I of course got really drunk and I came home at six in the morning. And I was so drunk, but I needed to hide the eggs because you know the kids were almost waking up. They were always uh, tired to have to to wake up in the morning as, as early as possible, you know, to catch that Easter bunny. So I drunk, I took the the, the bag of eggs, started hiding them all over our garden, and um, and I went to bed. And then the kids woke me up like 20 minutes later, still half drunk, and they said, "Oh, daddy, daddy, the Easter bunny was there." And they they only found one like two thirds of the eggs, one third disappeared. I don't know where he went, maybe I ate them, <laughs> maybe they were just hidden somewhere and I couldn't remember, but short story. Good morning, the Easter Bunny. Good morning. <laughs> There's a mosquito here. I love your shirt. Good. Guns and roses. It's really hot this early in the, in the morning already in Thailand. Um, today I have two articles that I want to discuss or re read about and I really found interesting. One is that one billion worth of Bitcoin has been transacted for the price of a cup of coffee. Coffee, so that's like uh, 70 cents or something. <laughs> and the other art article is about how the COVID um, virus has um, affected the crypto community and the crypto industry. So let's start with the last one. You know. It's terrible what is happening all over the world. Um, many people are affected by the virus. Many traditional businesses are affected by the virus, but also the crypto industry is affected by the virus. But as everything in life, you can either see the cup half full or the cup half empty. And this also counts for um, these things like viruses that, that affect our lives. You know, it's, it's either you can, you can just handle it positive or negative. For example, for the crypto in industry, yes, um, the market crash uh, made it very difficult for a lot of uh, blockchain startups, crypto startups uh, to run business because, you know, the value of Bitcoin declined tremendously and, and then all those startups get, get some financial pressure. But on the other hand, the exchanges, um, they do really good by the crash because then you get this volatility of the market and everybody starts to trade. So the volume goes up. So the earnings of the exchanges go up as well. So that's what I mean. You know, everything um, has a positive and a negative side. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time to COVID because most of you know my opinion. And I think for me, it's, it's just another traditional flu that sadly kills a lot of people in the world. But, you know, I always zoom out and if you look at the world then 150,000 people die daily and now I see that 100,000 people have died of COVID in the last five months which is terrible but if you zoom out you know then um, there are worse diseases and, and there is a thing like hunger that kills a lot of people all around the world as well so I find it very sad that we haven't been able to solve all these things uh, while we are such an intelligent human being. But that is how COVID affected the industry, you know. Let me know what you think that COVID is going to do. Is it going to crash the Bitcoin industry a little bit more? Are we going to see another market crash? Um, you know, I, I don't think COVID uh, made the market crash. I think the market was always going to crash. This is what we have been building up to the last uh, few years. We all knew there's a, a, a huge crisis was around. Um, and now, okay, yeah, some blame COVID for it or maybe the governments will blame COVID for it. I don't agree. Um, yes, it's an accelerator of the crash. The second news, which is way more important, and I love to educate people on Bitcoin, is that, you know, one billion worth of BTC was transacted 
for the price of a cup of coffee. Coffee. I always say coffee because that's Indonesian. <laughs> it's, it's 70 cents. So they were able to send 1 billion worth of BTC from one address to another address and only pay 70 cents. This is the power of Bitcoin. Can you imagine like transacting 1 billion worth of gold? from one place to the other place how much would this cost this would be so expensive you you know you need you need to hire private jet security uh, you know i don't know what all you need to to to, to hire to to transact or to send one billion worth of gold to one from one place to the other place that's the power of bitcoin i'm not comparing bitcoin to gold but at the moment bitcoin has a lot of um, similarities to gold and yes, my, my opinion is that Bitcoin should be um, a digital peer-to-peer -peer cash, but that will take some time. And if Bitcoin won't succeed in it, maybe Bitcoin will become the new gold and there will be another currency like uh, Litecoin or Bitcoin Cash or uh, Monero or Dash that will replace um, the daily day-to-day -day, uh, transactions, peer-to-peer -peer transactions. I don't know, I just love to observe this and what happens, uh, we will see. But the power of Bitcoin has been shown by transacting this amount of money. Is Bitcoin going to be the new gold? Or is Bitcoin really going to be the new peer-to-peer -peer digital cash? I, I would love to hear your opinion about this because, you know, this is a discussion being going since uh, 2016, the first bull or the last bull market, you know, people thought uh, it's going to replace the gold. And, and if it would take one percentage or two percentages of the whole gold market cap, Bitcoin would go to 400k. This is where a lot of calculations are made on. So I, I'm, I'm really um, anxious to hear your opinion about it. Is it going to be the new gold or are, going, are we going to see Bitcoin perform as a new digital peer-to-peer -peer cash? Either way, it's still able to transact 1 billion worth of Bitcoin for a cup of coffee coffee. Please try this with Western Union or try this on other, any other traditional way with a banking system to send this amount of money. This is just not possible. And this you can send just by using a telephone. You know, this is how big the change of Bitcoin is. It's going to change the whole industry. No, I'm saying it wrong. It's already changing the whole industry and it's even going to change the industry a little bit more. So that was the second subject. Uh, the third part, you know, I always spend time to the family. I think uh, this Easter is a lockdown Easter, how they call it. And I think this Easter, um, we are just forced to spend a lot of beautiful time with our families. You know, enjoy your Easter, make a beautiful breakfast and uh, do a beautiful lunch. And maybe have some friends over if it's allowed in your region. You know, I, I know that, you know, they cannot hold you from um, receiving some family and friends for dinner enjoy these times and uh, discuss all the beautiful things in life that you already um, experienced and and plan for new things to experience when all this crazy stuff is over and when the world um, turns back to normal again if it ever turns back to normal again i think we as people need to stand up and show the power of the people and take the world back to how it was and then improve it in the way we want to improve the world but you know that's just my opinion what I saw as well you know I saw Kraken making Kraken uh, sending some tweet out or some news that they had thousands of new signups to Kraken so maybe all the people that now receive the money because of the COVID crisis are spending it on Bitcoin I hope I hope that people are that smart because I think that people need to understand that cash is slowly disappearing in the world slowly we see cash disappearing it's only 8% um, of all the money around on this beautiful earth still is cash eight percent this is going to decline every year they are going to get rid of cash and you know just be honest to yourself how often do you still pay with cash do you pay with your phone or with your apple watch or do you pay with your cards you know contactless it's all possible and and and, and crypto is just another step in this evolution of money but a very important step because if the cash is going to disappear we should have an alternative that gives us the opportunity to spend and transact value in a private way without anybody uh, being able to stop it. And this is exactly what Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies are providing us. You can transact cryptocurrencies as much as you want, when you want, um, to whoever you want on the world. 
So yeah, it will take another two years that the, that, or two or three years that the world goes cashless maybe. And, but then people will understand the power of crypto because if everything you spend will be done by the banks, you will understand sometimes when you buy stuff that you don't want the banks to know or other people to know or the tax companies to know um, that there is no alternative anymore. You, don't, you can't use cash in the future anymore. So what are you going to use for your privacy spendings? What are you going to use for all the stuff that you don't want the governments to know that you spend? You know, you don't want to know that they that you buy a bottle of Bacardi every week, like I do, and that they tell you you need to go to the AA because you're an alcoholic. You know, so let me know how do you think that um, this whole industry is changing now in the last few years and how COVID is going to influence this. I really thank you for watching our video and really thank you for your support and please like, subscribe and share this video. And again, I wish you a very beautiful Sunday. Happy Easter with your family. And I, I intend to make more and more videos to educate, but also to show you some fun. Uh, it's not all news. Um, I'm going to show you some fun videos and challenges and all that stuff that the kids want to do um, to me. <laughs> to me, not with me, but to me. And please let me know what you think of the one billion uh, worth of the Bitcoin transaction that took place for the price of a cup of coffee. And please give me a comment as well about how do you think that the COVID virus is going to uh, influence the traditional market, but also the crypto market. Uh, so more on that. See you next time. Bye.